Now, if you've ever had to mess around with the number formatting on a pivot table just to get rid of random numbers of decimal places and tidy it up, you'll know what a pain that can be. And you probably wished at the time there was some kind of default setting that would just do all this for you. Well, unfortunately, there isn't, but there is a workaround, and that is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video today. Okay, so we've got a load of data here, which is showing some fictitious sales information for companies in various regions. Let me just show you straight away, if we just quickly insert a pivot table, I'm just going to pick default settings here, that if we show sales by region, we are now getting three decimal places there, which I don't like. Uh, ideally, what I want to see is this sort of defaulting to no decimal places or whatever particular amount of decimal places we want. That would be ideal. Because otherwise, you may know if you use pivot tables, you've got to basically go in, uh, change the field saying, change the number. For, you know, there's a lot of clicks that you've got to do off of that. You might think, well, let's just change the number format of all these numbers. Okay, so now we have that. So, I would hope now if we were to insert a pivot table, again, default settings, check the sales and the region in. Unfortunately, it's not picking up the format of our original data. That is not what we want it to do. What we want it to do is to round all of this information so that it automatically shows the sum of the data behind. What we're going to do is we're going to use a formula called round. The examples here that I've shown, if we want to round 12.15 to one decimal place, we would literally type round, open brackets or parentheses, 12.15 comma one, to signify we want one decimal place. If we put comma zero in there, we round it to no decimal places, which would just give us the number 12. And then we can actually put negative numbers in here as well. And that will round to, you know, tens or hundreds or whatever. So we've got there round 12.15 comma minus one. That would round to 10 because it's basically saying we want to go one place to the left of the decimal and round. First off, we type the equal sign as we do for entering any formula into Excel the round formula, and you can see we pick that as an option. We can choose it from there if we like. Open the brackets, the number we want to round, which in this case will be this cell, and a comma, and the number of decimal places we wish to round it to. We don't want to show any decimal places, so we will pick zero. Now, and we'll close the brackets. We'll enter that number. And if we just double click on the bottom right hand corner there, if we just call this now rounded, now if I spelt it correctly, rounded sales, $1,000 increments. And I'm just going to pick up the format of that entire column there, just so that it looks nice. Now, to all intents and purposes, these two columns of numbers look exactly the same. But what you will see now, if I now insert a pivot table, and you can now see immediately that what we have is our pivot table on the rounded cells showing exactly the numbers that would sum on my report if we were to do it manually. But it's quite interesting if you look at, for example, the South region now. The actual sales in the South region are 282.3. That is the genuine sales of the South region. But our rounded numbers are giving us 286. So that presents a further issue. So it might solve the problem of showing us reports that match to what we want, but it kind of proves we've probably gone too far with our rounding. What we might want to do, perhaps, is show a single decimal place on this. So we go back to our data, and this is easily done. 
We want to show one decimal place. We change the number of digits in our round formula. We'll show one decimal place on that. Now we can actually highlight all of those and increase the number of decimal places by clicking the button up there. We're sorted. So we've got one decimal place showing now. We go back to our pivot table. We refresh it. That decimal place will now feed through. And you can see that we are much more accurately reflecting the sales now and we're not going to have any problems with people adding up numbers that don't match. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hope you find it useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.